Tonight, live from NBC in Burbank, with videotape and filmed inserts from practically every place else, NBC presents Real People. We'll see a pig farm that's been taken over and run by a monkey. Sarah Purcell introduces us to an old-time logger in the Northwoods. On the political scene, we go to Brit, Ohio, to cover the annual election of the King of the Hobos. We'll have a company of Army Cavalry show you how they're putting the horse back into horsepower. Byron Allen goes to a school where the students really study one-upmanship. You'll see a musical instrument you can learn to play before one easy lesson. Skip Stevenson will meet the lovely 19-year-old girl who's the best Frisbee player on two legs. You'll also meet some other players who are the best Frisbee players on four legs. We'll reveal the only photograph acknowledged by experts as a real UFO. <laughs> These people are waiting to show how well their dogs can fetch. Not bones, slippers, or newspapers, but frisbees. This is the third annual canine catch and fetch competition. The object is for a dog to leap as high as possible to catch the frisbee and bring it back to his master. Some dogs bring it back. They just don't give it back. He'll wear sweaters. Caps, sunglasses once in a while, you know. He even has a Frisbee that has a big hole in it that he wears around his neck around the house once in a while. They don't know what it is. A lot of people don't even think it's a dog. This is Bart, and he's a Frisbee champ of the future. Right, Bart? Yeah. She's gorgeous. Does she kind of look like me? Yes. Pet Frisbee competitions are like ice hockey in one respect. The contestants periodically rest while attendants clean up the playing surface. to be a dog who could catch a frisbee, but one who could throw it.